Oh, we start right now. <laughs> Hello, honey. Hello, honey. Fam, I had such a whirlwind last couple episodes. Mama Mai had to take over with her skincare regimen, which you guys requested. You put everything everywhere. Mom, it Don't looks worry. Good. No, but it's good. And then you put all it over It looks like something there. else. Wipe it. She also shot herself her own rogue tattoo tour. <laughs> What is the show? That you guys requested. So I just want you all to know that we read every single comment that y'all post. Thank you for caring so much. Without your guy, we don't do Hello Honey show at all. This is true. We got so many great comments on your skincare episode. One thing that you had shared while we were doing the episode, when you were younger, you mm -hmm. stayed in your bathroom a lot to work on your skin. You really did it to avoid being with your family. Why were you spending so much time by yourself when you had brothers and sisters? You're talking about childhood? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a good time at all because I'm Vietnamese, you know, in my culture. Ở Việt Nam mà con. Can I speak Vietnamese? Yeah. Mà nói là lúc mà ở bên Việt Nam đó con là cái gì cũng còn trô bay ông ngoại hết trơn á. Okay, so what my mom's saying is first of all, ông ngoại is my mom's dad, my grandfather. I think he's the monster or devil. This is a very I don't know how to describe it. We are happy in the family. Anytime my father, he came home and everybody, you know, run different way. We avoid, but he's still caught in them. He come over, he hit, uh, hit us with no reason. And I remember one time is um, I went to school. I wear the long dress and my friend in the back, they tie my dress, you know, and I get mad at that girl, the one did it. She tricked you. Yes, and I hit her. She go home, she tell her mom, and her mom took her come to my house and then tell my father I hit, you know, get bruised over here. And my father don't ask what the reason, why you do that? He just say, oh really my daughter did it to your daughter? And then he hit me in front of them. He hit so hard. And that lady, she's so scared. She's gone with her daughter. And then my father make me, uh, what is me? We, we all are gone. Made you kneel? In, in the front door, in the front door. Kneel in front of the people? Like neighbors? We all ngay cửa đó cho mọi người thấy á. The front door when you get in the house. Yeah, embarrass me, embarrass me. Like a 14 years old. In the family nhà mình á, bị đòn quay à. You'd always get hit. Every day. Every day? Yeah, every day my father came home. He angry something, I don't know what he angry. And then he pick on us. Either my brother get hit or I get hit. Yeah, all the time. I don't know why, I don't know what the reason. But he angry like that. So later on I found out because my father, he's gamble. Anytime with him, if he gamble, he happy. He bring home, he give us a lot of food. But if he lose or something, he came home. He took it out on you guys. Took it out on us, you know. How come you don't clean the house? The house already clean, but he said, how come you don't clean, it's still dirty? And then he just slapped and he just hit like that. I ran away, but I told my mom friend to let them know where I am. You still let your mom know right. where you were going to sleep for the night. Right. The family told them about how mean you are, and my father, he promised they're not gonna hit me. Don't worry, he talked really sweet to me. But as soon as I walked in the house, he hit me so bad. He used a, a hammer, he knocked on my leg until I cannot walk. Oh my God. Yeah, really bad. When I was young, I don't have any um, good life. I, I can say he's a monster. I hate him so much. Why Why do you think Bawai just sat there? Why, <coughs> why say that? Because why is my grandmother? But I want to know, why would, she, why would she just sit there? Why wouldn't she call the police? Or like, why would... No, she doesn't. Nobody knows. Right, right. You know, I would tell my mom to di divorce my father, but she never do. In Vietnam, if she take the kid, the mother and father, nobody like that. They want her to go back with the husband because you married, that's it. In Vietnam, the culture is very strict about marriage. It doesn't matter if you're happy. It doesn't matter if you're right. in an abusive relationship. Divorce is not an option. You look like you failed the family. You failed the name. You failed the honor if, right. you, do, if you divorce. Most women are afraid to leave because Bong Wai right, didn't right. make her own money. She followed what her husband said. No, no, Bong Wai có đi làm. Bong Wai mai đồ, con Bong Wai là mai đồ. Nhưng mà mẹ Bong Wai làm bao nhiêu tiền, thì ông Wai lấy hết. So my grandmother did work. She was a seamstress, but all the money she made, my father took everything. Grandfather took. So she didn't have her own sense of independence. So staying with my grandfather yeah. was the only option she had. So my grandfather was extremely abusive, but clearly you saw, not that this makes it right, mom, but that you saw that he suffered 
from anger management right, issues. Right, right, right. And also he had a gambling problem. Right. So when you escaped Vietnam, what 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 happened? How did you start to separate from him? When we came in the United States and my father is still got hot temper. He's, he, he still had it here in the States? The same. You're a grown teenager and he's still hitting yeah. you. Yeah, hitting me. He always said, you know what? He always said, I'm look ugly, I'm unhappy. Are you serious? Yeah. I didn't know that. The whole thing. He said, you so ugly like that, you know, why do that? And one time I get mad at him, I say, I'm ugly because of you, you know? You make me ugly, not, you know? And he hit me more, you know, the more I talk. Just example like this. He's sitting down, you know, apartment, refrigerator in the back. And I need my mom cook over there. And he told my mom, give him the beer. And I turned around, say, the beer behind you. Why don't you get the beer behind you? Why you let my mom go get it? He come up and he slapped me, you know? I can ask your mom, you know, I didn't call you, I called your mom, why? But I say, that's not right. You know, why don't you help her to get the beer behind you? Know, you know, she's cooking, you can yeah. help her. My mom don't divorce because my mom say, whatever, that's your father. If you divorce, that's embarrassed more. Wow. Because the people, they might think, I'm looking for another guy. You know, I have kids already. That's she's afraid right. of what the people think. I asked my mom, why don't you call the police? You know, and my mom's scared to call because he didn't, he called the police. And later on, no, I'm white, get out, he's gonna hit He's going us to hit more. her, yes. And my old brother, he ran away. And later on, I ran away. And my young brother, the, the third brother, ran away. Everybody ran away. My dad and my mom met in a factory. As soon as she came to the US, she got an assembly line job. It was in Texas. Yeah. And my dad was a leader. He was the manager. My dad, obviously got charmed by my mom. He has the best stories, by the way, of how my mom stood out in a sea of all these Asian people that had just immigrated here, and he noticed my mom. My grandfather saw that my dad liked my mom and immediately jumped in and threatened yeah, at, my dad. At the cafeteria, in front of the people. In front of a whole line of like hundreds of people. Yeah, they, he came up to my dad's town. face, pointed in his face, and threatened to kill him if my dad talked to my mom. Yeah, he said, if you talk to my daughter one more time, if they cut you, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna kill you like that. And you know what? I don't like the people from North, so you stay away from my daughter. You say that. <clears throat> my dad's from North Vietnam. There's like an inner kind of I'm a, no, my, Yeah, from North, I'm so from So North South. Vietnam and South Vietnam, which again, just makes it sound even more stupid because it has nothing to do with where you're from. But my dad saw clearly that my mom was in an abusive family and that he didn't want my mom to be underneath my grandfather's control. He fell in love with my mom and he said, what can we do to free you? Right, we ran away. And ran away from Texas. Yeah. So they moved, they chose between two places. They chose New York or the Bay Area. My mom saw that New York was too cold. So she said the Bay Area is much warmer. So we went to California. We went to well. California. My mom started a new life with my dad. They had me. I had the best childhood. My dad is the kindest, most understanding man I have ever met in my entire life. We lived in a studio apartment in Mountain View. My mom, my dad, and me, both of them worked. About six or seven years later, my brothers were born, Dennis and Daniel. My mom has always wanted family together. That's important to her. We have a dinner table here where she always invites family over, neighbors, strangers. Everybody's welcome to the table when my mom cooks. She started to miss my grandfather and said, hey, it's been about seven years. I ran away from my family, but when I separated from my family, I lost contact with my mom and also my brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. So let's invite my grandfather back. Maybe he's changed. But you missed the part you don't even know. When I ran away, when I talked to my mom on the phone, he picked up the other phone. I didn't know that. So he say, we uh, forgive you. Why don't you go home? And I say, but if I go home, you promise you don't hit me. He say, he's he not gonna hit me anymore. But I say, I'm pregnant. So he say, if you're pregnant, you cannot go home. You have one choice. You either, you kill the baby, get rid of the baby, you come home, the family accept you. Otherwise, me? Yeah, you, that's you. He want me to do that. So otherwise, you cannot come home. So he said that the people, uh, the, the, you have a Can child, I? come from North, and then I hate it. I don't want to, the, the child. So get rid of the baby. And my mom say, she cried, she want me to come back home, but without the baby, without you. Yeah. Both of them, both of them, they are together. Yeah, it's too loud. Let me take this out. Okay, go on. One, I cannot sleep. I walk on the street and I think, and either I get rid of you, I have more freedom, I come back with the family, or I keep you. Mom! I don't know what to do. Because at that time, I'm still young. I think different, right? 
I said we'd keep it real, but mom, you're keeping it a little too real. Yeah, I'm Drew at that time. And then I go to the doctor. I ask if I want to take out a baby. What happened, you know? I say, yeah, if you do that, you have to sign the paper. I go through it with that. And then by the time I'm ready to get rid of you, I don't know what Sunday you're thinking about. If my father, he doesn't change his mind, okay? And then I lost you. And then I will suffer for the rest of my life. That's right, mom. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. It. And then I say, doctor, I'm sorry. I forget. You forget the whole thing. I don't want it. I change my mind. And I get up, get out of the thing, and I go home. You almost went through with it? Yeah, I went through with me? Yeah, What would you do without me in your life, mom? <laughs> that's why I feel happy now. I told my father, I keep the baby. So he hang up the phone. We came home with the baby. I came to see the whole family at that time, Thanksgiving. So I knocked the door. I think if I bring the baby, he might forgive me. As soon as he see you, he get mad. He kicked me out. He said, I never see the ugly, dark baby like that. Okay, this is just f***ed up. Yeah, my father, he said, I don't, I told you, I don't like the baby come from not. Get out of my house. He kicked me out. So I have to get out of the house with you. I can't even say anything. This thing is driving yeah, I'm sorry. crazy, mom. Yeah. I, 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 I cry, I bring you home and I take care of you until now. Are you, he don't forgive me. He, he doesn't want you. The grandfather doesn't like you at all. He doesn't, he not he doesn't like you, he doesn't know you. Okay, okay, so I will say this. In my childhood, I remember interacting with Amwai a few times and every time he's just really, he's cold and he's gruff, right? So, yeah. so I just thought that that was the way he was and I didn't really pay attention to it. As I grew older, I saw the way my mom protected us from Amwai. If he wanted to come over, she would clear the house and make sure we were gone, and then she would deal with him herself. If we were going somewhere where he was, we would come, pay respects, give gifts, and then leave right away. Yeah. You also, um, you went through anger management too. Right. Okay, let's be honest. Right. It's, my mom yeah. had a, used to have a very hot temper. I have a hot temper. My mom's temper back then was indescribable. Man, I, I, I mean, ugly. It's really crazy now when I look back at the generational curse that my grandfather, maybe his grandfather or whoever had before him, but it came down to us. My mom and I were known for hot tempers. We got into fights all the time. I want to be honest with your father too. Your father is a good person. Number one father, number one husband is my father because in my life, I live with my, my real father. I got hit so much. So when I get angry, anytime when I take care of you, I feel like, a, why do I have a baby? I don't want a baby, why do I have a baby? Why do I have to run away? Why I miss my family so much? So mix, mix up my mind. I think because of you, yeah. make me no more freedom. You know what I mean? I feel like that. We used to have holes in, in our walls at home because we just couldn't control our temper. There were holes from her and holes from me. And my dad the whole time was like trying to maintain us, but this just was something in our blood. It felt like something we couldn't control. I literally saw how my mom and I had what my grandfather had. So when my mom and I separated, I literally have the craziest story um, about how I got saved um, with Jesus, seriously. Number one thing I prayed for was my mom's temper and her inner peace. I, I'm not kidding you, literally overnight, she and I both got healed of our hot tempers. When we came together in that eight year moment and, um, and reconciled, my mom has never had that type of a temper since. You made a very big decision that saved our family. You separated from a Y. Yeah. Do you guys know Mama Mai? Mai is my dad's last name. She's not married to my dad anymore. That is not her last name. Why is my your name that you stuck with? When my father, he told me if I have you already, he said he don't want me in the family anymore. I say, if you say you don't want me to be your daughter, that's fine. I'll take action. I change my name, M-A-I, your father last Permanently. Name. Permanently. And I call him, I told him, you don't have to worry. I'm not gonna be your daughter. And I don't want that. Yeah. That's why the name Mama Mai really stands for something. And even with me, my name Jeannie Mai, I love obviously the tradition in marriage to change your name, but I would never change my name. I don't know what you would be like if you continued living under your dad's control. And I, I will, even think- I will be a, a big monster, you know, will yeah. be a mean person. And the only thing I'm, you know what, the God give me, this is, I'm honest. All the time my father hit me on the face, spanked me with the big bell, whatever. I don't have any scar. That's why I'm so happy. I should have a scar on my face because I got, He's so much. Look at my face. I have no scar. Yeah. But you just have the scars of the tattoos you put on yourself. But the, the, the tattoo, that's not scar. That's, you know, I like you fun hippie. The hippie, hippie shake. I like it. <laughs> I'll bet you this video come out, the people are going to hate me. All the Vietnamese, they hate me because they're going to say, uh, 
talk queer, so chair. That mean if something nice you show up, if something bad you hide. But with me, it's what- true. Wait, I just want to say it was really hard. Okay, so I know a lot of you guys, my ams and my ans out there, all the Vietnamese family the community. Vietnamese people are really calm and peaceful and quiet and cool. We're chill. But it was really appalling to me that when my mom and I shared the video about our eight year falling apart, we got some comments from old generation Vietnamese people, some even in our family, that really looked down upon my mom having that bonding moment. I understand that for you, you believe it's better to hide our, our embarrassing parts in our life, to, to, to keep it behind closed doors. Don't let other people look at our family like we're crazy or we have messed up issues. But the truth is, a lot of the reason why I think depression and mental health issues, family curses continue is because we keep hiding it. Yeah. My mom and I are saved and we are so much closer than we ever were in our life before because we talk about our issues. And I thank you for that, mom, because if you continued the way grandma or grandpa did, then we wouldn't talk about your issues. You would hide it behind the door all the right. time. I know for sure the old people, they're gonna blame on me. They say, why you talk bad about your daddy? You are not good daughter. I don't talk bad about my father. I talk about the truth, what he did, and I don't like it. I know he's gonna watch this video, and I really hope if he watch this video, I don't know, he's gonna see me, he's gonna punch me again, or he's gonna change his mind, make him become a change the attitude, become a good person. Nothing I can do, I just say, I feel embarrassed to talking about my family. Of course, my brother, my sister will get mad at me too. I want the generation, the second generation of me and my daughter never come back again with the old fashioned of my yes. father. Not only my father, the whole, a lot of people in Vietnam, they do the same <laughs> like my father, I'll be honest to you. Mom, I don't think it's just the Vietnamese culture. I think a lot of families who were raised by the old school way of thinking, where you hit your kids <sighs> instead of communicating with them. If anything, if anybody out there is listening to this, distance yourself where you're not feeling safe. Figure out who to talk to or who to find refuge in so that you can keep yourself safe. Sometimes the abuse isn't just physical, right? Sometimes it's mental, right? Yeah. So lucky, I always... Lucky I don't have a mental problem. That's why I'm happy. That's questionable. Oh, no. One thing that I learned from my best friend, Jared Blandino, he used to tell me, Jeannie, you have to look at the people in your life, decide if they are weight or wings. If somebody in your life makes you feel uplifted, makes you feel like you've got wind beneath your wings, keep them in your life. If they weigh you down, if they make you feel bad about yourself, that's a weight and you need to clip them out of your life. My mom did that with her own father. I, I, I do believe we're gonna heal in some way. I do believe that he's going to see himself in some way and hopefully heal himself and be able to enjoy the rest of his life because at this point he's at a place where the whole family has isolated themselves from him. I don't believe that that's right for him, but I believe he has to make the decision for himself to save himself. You live a beautiful life now. You're so you loved yeah. and you make other people feel so happy. You deserve to be happy like that too. So when you talk about it, it'll never erase the memories, but you also see a light and an understanding that made you who yeah. you are today because of what you went through. I'm definitely going to read every single comment that you write below know that like we love you so much and we know how much it hurts sometimes to feel alone so please know that we're here and you're not by yourself if you are struggling with getting help or anything that you need somebody to hear you out about please do check out the links below i'm going to specifically pick out some places that are going to be there for you we love you thank you God. i love you mom yeah i love, love you guys mom. bye